Hello, I'm Adam Barrowlay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video. We're exploring five crystals to help you get a better night's sleep. Now sleep, it's something we're meant to spend a third of our lives doing. It gives us a chance to regenerate, to feel better, to be energized and at our best during the day. And it's also when we dream and access other levels of consciousness. Now, before I dive into five different crystals that can help with five different areas of getting a better night's sleep, let's have a look at crystals in the bedroom overall. I want to remind you that crystals are energetic beings, and some of you have a whole bunch of crystals sitting in your room. Some of you would have about maybe 300, and I like to pretend that each crystal in your room is like having a puppy in your room. And I don't know how well you'd go, but I know I'd struggle if I had 300 crystals or 300 puppies trying to sleep in the same room as me. So I'm going to encourage you to be a bit more deliberate with the crystals that you put in your bedroom. In fact, I rarely have crystals in my room and only bring them in if I've been having a few nights rest or sleep, or if I want to increase my dreaming around a full moon or something like that. Probably the biggest culprit would be this little one here, good old clear quartz. Remember, clear quartz is an amplifier of energy. So whatever is happening around you, it picks up and amplifies that. So think about the full moon. This is a time when our intuition is heightened. So you're trying to drift off to sleep and there's a clear quartz in your bedroom going, Hoi, let's do some channeling. So have a little look and see how you go. Some people are fine with crystals in their room and get a really good night's sleep. And if that's the case for you, then definitely keep on doing what you're doing. But other people have found, they've heard about the, you know, taking crystals out of their bedroom, even putting them in a drawer or in a cupboard helps, I find. And I've, I've heard back from them the next day, they've gone, I just had the best sleep in eight years. So give it a try, play around with it, see what works for you. But we're gonna dive into five different crystals that if you're having problems sleeping, may be able to help you out in different ways. If you're struggling to get a good night's sleep, the first crystal I'd recommend is good old amethyst. Amethyst has a gentle, peaceful, loving energy and really just helps us to settle down. Now, if you are struggling to get to sleep, instead of just having the crystal in the bedroom, even try sitting with it, carrying it or wearing it as the sun goes down. This starts to wind the body down, turn it into a more peaceful state and will allow you, when you go into bed, instead of being go, 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 stop, to kind of slowly, calm down from the day. Now, of course, what shape of crystal you might be wondering, you can see I've got a little tumbled stone here. Having the crystal as close to you, it's ideal. So a rough piece isn't gonna to be too nice, um, you know, in the bed with you. You could put that on a bedside table if that's what you've got, but a tumbled stone is really great. Now, some people say, pop it under the pillow. If you're anything like me, you'll do this with your arm halfway through the night and then in the morning you can't find your crystal. So I would recommend putting it in the pillow slip. It's gonna be right near your head and that way it's sending its energy right near you as you try and get a better night's sleep. Do you find that your mind is keeping you awake at night and you keep thinking about things or you're worried about things, worried about what's just happened during the day or worried about tomorrow? Then the crystal I'd recommend for you is smoky quartz. Again, smoky quartz helps to ground us, it's great for anxiety, and it's great for worry. What I recommend is go outside just before you go to bed with your smoky quartz and sit down and try and either write out or say out loud or say in your mind what you're worried about. Do you notice where our mind is going? It's kind of all going around. It doesn't have any linear kind of thoughts. It's just all over the shop. By saying it out loud or writing it, it helps to put all the things itemized. It helps it to settle the brain. It helps the brain to settle down. And you can even use the smoky quartz as a bit of a worry stone. Tell it what your worries are and tell it that you'd like, you know, how to take them away and send those worries into the crystal. That crystal you don't want to take into the bedroom with you that night. You can then put that outside to cleanse on the earth overnight and either take another smoky quartz into the bedroom with you to keep those worrisome thoughts away and ground you or then try an amethyst as well. Have you been traveling or do you do shift work or maybe menopause is causing you to kind of your cycles of your body are keeping you up at night. Wherever the cycles of the body, your circadian cycles or some other cycle is not quite right, moonstone is an amazing crystal. Moonstone helps to get our cycles back in check. Our body very much relies on the cycles of the moon. Not that I'm an expert on it, but women's menstrual cycles used to be a lot more in line with the moon before the advent of electricity and bright light at night. 
So if you are finding that you're getting a bit of jet lag, maybe you've traveled or your shift work, try working with Moonstone as much as you can to bring that in. Now, other things you can do with your Moonstone, especially to help your body clock get back in the sink, is sunlight. Get as much sunlight during the day and it will start to communicate with your body what's actually happening. And then even a bit of moon bathing at night can be great. Ideally, having your bed right next to the window with the windows open so you can see the moon and the stars will help to communicate with your body what time it is and what time it's meant to be going to sleep. If you can't do that, at least having the curtains open can be really great. Obviously, if there's artificial light outside, we want to avoid that. But that can be another thing that works really well with Moonstone to help getting our body and our circadian cycles back in and check. For me, one of the pleasures of going to bed at night is dreaming. I love dreaming. Now, do you remember your dreams? Would you like to have more dreams or maybe have nightmares? Well, a crystal that encourages sweet dreams is halite. Halite is amazing for people that can't remember their dreams or are having nightmares to bring it back to a level where it's actually insightful, interesting, and not traumatic as some people seem to have these great night terrors. Putting this in your pillow slip or by your bed will really help to get a great night's sleep but have dreams through it and wake up in the morning remembering them. I've done this with a group of 20 people and everyone found they dreamt more but none of them had disturbing dreams. Now if you'd like to have more dreams there are some other tricks that I found really effective that you can pair with your Howlite nearby. The first one is nutmeg powdered nutmeg, putting it on a little bit of milk, almond milk, coconut milk or whatever and drinking that just before you go to bed. Nutmeg is a slight, slight hallucinogenic. Now you're not going to start seeing purple frogs in the middle of your night or bouncing around the house or something like that but it just helps you to dream a little bit more. Essential oils rubbed on the soles of the feet can also help. My favourites are any options of budwood, vetiver, marjoram, blue lotus, or juniper berry and juniper berry is also really good for night terrors I know lots of people that have found it's stopped their children's night terrors or their own night terrors as well so try those ones for your dreaming as well and if you don't remember your dreams have a dream journal next to your bed and as soon as you wake up in the morning before you get out of bed and do anything else write down whatever you can remember now for the first few days you may not have anything at all or just remember I had a dream and I felt sad just write that down and but over time you'll start to train the brain to recollect those dreams and after a while you'll find with your highlight and journaling your dreams and maybe using nutmeg or those essential oils you've got a full dream life happening and you're getting insight for your um from the other layers of consciousness while you're sleeping to get that guidance you need the final crystal that i want to share with you today for getting a bed night's sleep is citrine now you may be wondering, why on earth citrine? It's a happy, joyous kind of crystal. Well, this is really good if there's any paranormal activity or something on a different level keeping you up at night. This is especially good for children who feel that there's a monster under the bed or whatever that may be. Now, citrine is the crystal that I would recommend and one of my favorites. And if adults, we're worried about something at night, citrine can be really good. But if you have a child that's not going to sleep because there's a monster under the bed or there's a ghost in the room or something like that. What I'd recommend is take them to your local crystal or new age shop and get them to choose their crystals. Also, get them to choose some essential oils, whatever ones they like, and put them into a spray bottle with some water. At night, bring their crystals out and put them near their room, wherever they want to put them, and get that spray next to the bed and allow them to spritz that around the room. Now, plenty of well-meaning parents have done this in the past and put crystals and sprays around the kid's room, but think about it. Whether there's a monster under the bed or not, it is a child's belief and it's a child's energy attracting that energy into their room, empowering them to be able to take control of that and uh, deal with that themselves will let them deal with that energy that's actually attracted in the past, and I find that to be far more effective. Young children as well always have a really good intuition, so trust them to know what's best for them as well. So those are my five crystals that I recommend trying to get a good night's sleep. First of all, try taking those 300 puppies, those 300 crystals out of your bedroom if you aren't having a good night's sleep, but then play around with the other ones as well. Maybe start with amethyst, try highlight to have more dreams and so on. Have you found another 
crystal has helped you to sleep? Then I'd love to hear about that. Leave a comment below and share so we can all try different ones and find what works best for us. Of course, remember crystals work on a subtle energetic level and there are other gifts of nature that can help you get a really good night's sleep. I love using essential oils, lavender, Roman chamomile, marjoram, cedarwood, vetiver, ylang-ylang are all amazing for calming down the body and mind and helping get a really nice night's sleep. I'll pop them in my diffuser, I'll rub them on the soles of my feet, I'll anoint parts of my body or aromatically dress my entire body with them as well. You can also do one final trick that I really want to share with you today. It's called a crystal cauldron. Those that like their crystals would have heard of crystal elixirs where we put certain crystals that are safe to put in water um, in, and then leave it in there, the energy goes in there and we drink that. Well, with a diffuser, what do we do? It's water with essential oil spreading around the room. Why not make a crystal cauldron and take any of the five crystals I've mentioned today in a tumbled form, put one or two in the diffuser, plus some sleep essential oils like the ones I've listed today, uh, and allow the energy of the crystal to permeate around the room, as well as you've got the amazing essential oils that calm down the body and mind. There's a little trick for you. Anyway, I'd love to know your tricks and trades. Pop them down um, in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.